Now that we practiced how to make our stencils, we're gonna get started building our castle inspired by Paul Clay. We're gonna use our stencils kind of like blocks to make a castle on our paper. You can do this with crayons, markers, or colored pencils. You just might not wanna do this with paint because paint's wet and might seep under your stencil. I'm gonna use this stencil with a marker. So if this is where the bottom of my paper is, I kinda wanna line up my stencil right near the bottom so that it looks like this part is on the ground. Remember, you wanna hold down your paper as you color and don't press too hard. Notice how I'm using the side of my marker. I'm not using the tip of my marker because I'll get a really thin line that you won't see that well and it will take a long time to fill it up. I might need to scooch my hand to make sure that I'm holding down my stencil as I color in different parts of the paper. When I lift my stencil up, I have the first bottom of my building. Now I think I might want a roof for this building. So I'm gonna look for a triangle shape. Let's see, I've got one right here. So I'm gonna try and line up my triangle with my house or this part of my building. So I see a little bit of pink, so I'm gonna just scooch it up a little bit just where I don't see the pink. This time I'm gonna use a crayon. And I pick it up, it looks like I have a roof over top of one of my buildings. We have all sorts of shapes that we made to make a castle with. Maybe I wanna make a building next to this one. I lift it up and I've got a little building next to this one. Maybe I want to use this same rectangle, but I want it to come off of the paper a little bit or I want it to be a little shorter. That's okay. I can only use part of my stencil. You just want to make sure that you don't color onto your table. I'm kind of going to do an outline of it. and then fill it in. So I've got my shape in here and I know it's gonna to go to the edge of my paper. Now that I've outlined my shape, I can take off my stencil and then fill it in on my own. So I noticed that there's a little bit of white space between my building here and the bottom of my paper. Kind of looks like this building's floating off the ground a little bit, and I don't know if I like that. That's okay, I can fix it. I'm just gonna go in and color in that part that I forgot to get. It's an easy fix to my mistake. Maybe I wanna add a roof to these buildings as well. 
I want to put a roof on this small building here, but I only have big triangles. That's okay. Remember, you can use just part of your triangle. So I can see where my triangle would match up with the building. See how it won't fit on top. It's too big. Kind of slide it down so that I notice that there is a triangle shape right above my building. What I'm going to do so I'm going to color it in just like I normally would. But then, instead of continuing all the way down, I'm just going to stop where my building is. So that way I have a roof on my building that doesn't go over top of everything. got a tiny roof for my building. You may also want to do some stencils over top of each other. Maybe I want there to be a heart shape on this building. I don't want to use the same color green because I already did that. So I'm going to take a new color that's darker than the green to go over it with. I'm going to keep building my castle until it takes up most of my paper. I could even add some hearts in the sky. Maybe I want to use my circle shape to add a big sunshine somewhere. And if you want a challenge, you can take another piece of paper and tape it to the bottom of this one to make a really tall, long castle. Or you could take a paper and tape it to the side of this to make a long wide castle. You don't have to do that, but if you feel like you finished really quick, you really like this, or you want a challenge, just grab another piece of paper and attach it to the bottom or the sides to make your castle larger.